Okay, I want to show you a gadget called the Enatech. It's a USB connection port. But uh, let me zoom in on this for you. So you can see all the instructions here on how this works. I'll have a link in the bottom where you buy this. It's like maybe, I don't know, seven bucks. You can connect a keyboard to it and then connect your cell phone to it and use a regular keyboard. Or you can connect your camera or SD cards. In my case, what we're going to do is we're going to connect basically a cell phone, a battery pack, and a four terabyte hard drive by WD Elements is what we're going to connect. So let me kind of um, start all over with this for you to understand how this works. So what we have here let me go up. What we have here is this gadget here, and it comes with one cord. And this part plugs into your cell phone that comes from it. So right off the bat, you're going to plug this into your cell phone. So once you got that plugged in the cell phone, you'll see we have power. We're ready to go, and it's taking power from the cell phone. So now, I want to plug in a battery pack. And I'm going to use this to plug into this here. And I'm going to plug this part into my battery pack. And now we've got power plugged in. So now I want to plug in my hard drive. Let me see what's going on with the cell phone. Okay, so let me plug in the hard drive now. So the hard drive is just a USB connection, nothing more. I'll plug it in the 2.0 over here, and we're connected. Um, cell phone's asking me for the software. Okay. Now, understand that... I had to actually buy an app for my cell phone, something from Microsoft, a driver to run the hard drive, which cost me 10 bucks, is what I had to run. So, now, we have a memory chip. So now we're going to plug the memory chip into this box. And let me see, I get the right one. So this side, that side, this side. So, we have my memory chip plugged in, we have my hard drive plugged in, and this right now, let me zoom in for you, is asking me to, the software I bought, to mount the actual 4 terabyte hard drive. And it's actually going to ask me to um, mount the actual... SD card also when I get to it okay so I'm gonna to go to here and then I'm gonna open my X Explorer and that's gonna open this up so now this is the driver I downloaded which is this one here and right now the only thing that's connected is my four terabyte hard drive nothing else so maybe it's not reading this right now. Let's try it again. Replug it in. Okay, let's unplug this. Okay, okay, okay. Connecting USB devices. And you're seeing this in lifetime, how I'm doing it. Okay, there it is there. It didn't, um, I had to unplug this at the bottom and then replug it back in the Inatech. So we're going to mount the SD card and we're going to mount the 4 terabyte drive. So now both are mounted inside the system. So now I go back, I run my X Explorer and it's running my root over here and I don't want to run that. 
I want to click this and I want to run the four by the four terabyte drive there we go so now I'm gonna go back whoops and now I'm going to select my um, SD card so now the idea here is we copy the files over to the hard drive and there we go we are now copying the speed's running at 5.5 megabytes, 6 megabytes a second. Total size, 180, 200 megabytes. Now, the idea of this is, and it's working like a dream, is that being I have the EOS R camera and I record in 4K quite a bit now, those files are huge, and I mean big. You make a 30 minute video, you pretty much almost ate up your entire 128 gigabyte um, SD card. Now the problem is with the SD card is that they, they cost 200 bucks a piece if you want the high end ones for, for recording video. So I can't very well have 10 of them, I mean, that, geez, that's like a thousand bucks. So I was trying to find another way around this. So I bought the Inatech which is this thing over here that connects all this menage together and notice we're done now boy that was easy so okay I'm gonna go back here and uh, I'm gonna take a look at my system okay so I gotta open up the system I gotta look at my Elements, let's look at the backup files, and there it is there. There's the backup file. Okay, so it works beautiful, the way I expected. So, what did it take to put all this together? Well, I've already had a battery. Let me go up a little bit. So, I've already had a battery, which is this here. I have a link in the bottom if you don't have a battery. I love these batteries. I got two of them. They're awesome. They charge my camera batteries. They do everything for me. Now... I have a cell phone. This cell phone's old, and I probably needed to purchase that app for the Paragon f file system link, and I'll have the name in the description box and a link to where I got the information from so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, they give you two choices when you buy this app. Uh, one for $5 to have one link or $10, as many as you want. Pay the $10, get them all, because you have to link together um, the hard drive, and then you got to link together the SD card. So just pay 10 bucks if you get other SD cards. They'll all link together. Now, with this all done, you then need this particular gadget here. And this allows you to hook all this octopus together to make this happen. And then, of course, I had to buy a 4 terabyte drive. And this was like 90 bucks is what this was. Now, the only thing you're limited by is if your cell phone goes dead while it's copying. So you want to make sure your cell phone's up at full charge, go and do your copy, and you should be okay and good to go. So what's the point of the cell phone? The cell phone is so you can load some form of Explorer onto it, okay, so you can perform the copy. You can't just plug it in and expect this to know what this is doing. Now, Explorer was free. It didn't cost me nothing. There are all kinds of Explorers on apps in the App Store for you to do this. So all it's doing is allowing me to copy between one device to another device. So it allows me to copy what's on the chip to the hard drive. But like I said, for my Android, I had to pick up this Paragon File System add-on. USB OTG NTFS. It creates an NTSF file system, basically, is what it's doing. So I needed that no matter what. And that kind of boggled me. I had to search Google for a little while to find the answer. So if you have an older Android, your Android may do it without that app. That's very well possible because the newer ones do. I've had this phone for quite some time, and it's not even hooked up to service. The only thing I want to use this phone for, basically, is strictly for copying. Nothing else, because it's an old phone. I don't use it. So, and this whole setup here is not too bad. It's a pretty light system. This prevents me from having to carry a uh, laptop. And that's what I don't want to do. I don't want to carry a laptop. I want to carry a very small setup. The batteries I always, I always carry no matter what. So I've always got these. Okay. Um, I never used to carry a cell phone, but I guess I'm going to now. 
and because where I go there's no signal so cell phones basically useless but in this particular setup it's not we're just using it for copying this unit here was like maybe seven bucks and this allows this whole setup to take over of course this is a cheap um, WD elements four terabyte hard drive and this will put quite a few video files on it so I can copy my video files from the SD card over to the hard drive and then take the card out put it back in the camera and then uh, format the card and start over so I've got everything backed up in here now I suppose if I wanted to I could have two of these cards two of these uh, four terabyte hard drives and I could copy from here to the other hard drive and this will have a double backup if that's what you want myself I don't need that I mean it, I've never had anything ever not work so if it does it's not a big deal because I'm just a hobby guy I'm not actually out there making billions of dollars doing this. This is just something I do as a hobby. So this setup is going to work perfect. I can now record in 4K video. So if I see some animals or whatever and I record 30 minutes of video and I have that, I can now dump it from the SD card over to the hard drive and then free up my SD card to go back in my camera. So now I can run two SD cards. I always carry two. And then, like I said, the cards were like 200 bucks each. So that's $400 just for two SD cards. And... Uh, that's a little easier to hit you than carrying multiple SD cards. Now, my Canon 80D didn't require such a fast, high-speed um, SD card. So, you know, I had like eight of them. But with the Canon EOS R and the 4K video, I had to come up with a whole new answer. And, and this, is, this is pretty much what I have came up with. So we're going to run with this. So this is how you take an EOS R camera. Um, 4K video, copied from 128 stick to a um, hard drive. And again, I'll have general information in the bottom to help you piece this together. This is what you choose. I have the links in the bottom. Um, and you may have all this. You may already have the hard drive. You may already have a battery. So maybe the only thing you need is this here. And if it doesn't work on your cell phone, then you need a $10 app. So this is all you're going to actually need. To get you going so what 17 bucks if you already have everything and you can copy files from your sd card over to your hard drive and you're off and running so this is kind of cool and it's pretty light okay i'll catch you guys on the next one